basically I've got a minced beef stew in a bun with a hot dog. Hey, hey. I am Salim. I did some research last week uh, and I also asked some people and guess what? This week we are doing hot dogs. This week we are making five different hot dogs from five different countries from around the world. Yes. This is called the Complin Italiano and it's from Chile. Chilean completos have been around for some 80 years. Many suggest Chile's very first completo shop started in the heart of the historic Santiago, Plaza de Armas, where you can still find plenty of completo eateries today. A man by name Eduardo Bahamondes, who first imported the traditional hot dog to Chile in 1920s, claims he came up with the idea for the completo after working in hot dog shops in the United States. He took the base of the hot dog, the sausage and bun and added ingredients that would better appeal to a Chilean palate. Mustard and ketchup didn't quite do the trick of Chileans who love their avocado, a major national export. Done. Being from this part of the world, we are not used to a hot dog with, a, with this kind of topping, mayonnaise and avocado. This is definitely gonna be interesting to eat. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh wow, already from the first bite. You feel that you're eating a completely different hot dog that you're not used to. You have the avocado, which is creamy, together with the mayonnaise, obviously. Then you have the kick of the onions and the, the tomatoes. And the benefit of the guacamole and the mayonnaise, as you can see, they keep everything together so it, the filling doesn't fall, fall off of um, the hot dog. I'm really, really glad that I found a new way to eat a hot dog because it is definitely different from what we are used to eat here in Northern Europe. Hey, you want a taste? I will never eat a hot dog with only ketchup and mayonnaise again. <laughs> this is called a Korean corn dog. The Korean corn dogs are often described either as a hot dog, cheese stick or combination of the two. They are often done in the sweet batter made it from rice flour and rolled in a, in a variety of toppings before being fried to perfect golden brown. Other topic options for the fried creations include panko breadcrumbs and dry ramen noodles. After frying the snack is lightly dusted with sugar to, to play on the salty sweet balance and can be drizzled with your choice of condiments like spicy mayo, mustard or ketchup. Okay, I've actually done this, nobody helped me, what do you think? Look at this, have you ever seen something like that? By the first sight it doesn't look like a hot dog, it looks more like fried fish. Okay, so this is different. This is not a hot dog. This is more than a hot dog. It's more like a cheese dog. I would call it a cheese dog. That tastes wonderful. The first bite of the cheese, it's so, so yummy. It's so fresh. It's so, so tasteful, so creamy. Then you have the crispiness of the dough. This is indescribable. Oh my God. I almost tried everything on earth. How come I had never tried that one before? I've never been to Korea, obviously, but this is amazing. This is extremely unhealthy, but it tastes extremely good. 
Why does unhealthy thing always taste good, by the way? I've talked with a lot of people who had this corn dog and they told me that it used to be savory, but this one is extremely sweet. You have to try this in your life. If you have a bucket list, then put a corn dog on it or in it. When I finished this, luckily I made a second, so I will eat it myself. I was actually thinking that I would, that I would share it with my wife, but I think I'm gonna go for both. Or... This is called a Greek hot dog sauce. The Greek hot dog sauce goes back to the 19th century where it was developed by Greek and Macedonian immigrants. Many fleeing the Balkan Wars who entered the US through Ellis Island in New York City. The hot dog is in a bun topped with a set Okay, basically, I've got a minced beef stew in a bun with a hot dog. I forgot to tell you, by the way, I went to Greece this time. Wait a minute. Oh my God. This tastes wonderful. Oh, whoa. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Ladies and gentlemen, hot dog with minced beef. I've never eaten a better hot dog than this one so far. The minced beef is so good seasoned with all the spices, the chili, the, the, the paprika, the, the, it's savory. Then you have the kick of the onions and the roasted hot dog. There is a party in my mouth. The reason why I choose this one is because it looked, it looked different. It looks special. It has minced beef on top of a hot dog. So meat, and more meat. And guess what? I love meat, so why not? I made a really good choice by choosing this one. <laughs> Unbelievable. This one is called Thunbrotsrolle and it is the ultimate Swedish style hot dog. The story goes back to the mid 60s where it was invented by a guy called Elov Lofe Brotfors. The Thunbrotsrolle is comprised of mashed potatoes, sausage or hot dogs, lettuce, shrimp salad, uh, sometimes mayonnaise dressing, onions, ketchup and mustard, and is served wrapped in a tortilla of flatbread. In its original version, it's said to have had cucumber as the only accessory in addition to mustard and ketchup. The dish is celebrated annually on the theme day on the second Saturday in May. Ooh. Done. Tönbrotsrolle. It's definitely not a sandwich. And it barely looks like a hot dog. So what is it? Nothing about that screams hot dog. But it has a hot dog. This is what makes a hot dog. A hot dog, right? It's kind of heavy. I am actually eating a mashed potatoes shrimp salad hot dog. Why does weird food combination always taste good? By the way, this one was called by Anthony Boudin the most disgusting looking hot dog, but it tastes so good. I'm not sure if Anthony Boudin is 100% right, but it doesn't taste bad. And by the way, this is supposed to be late night snack. So that means when Swedish people in Northern Sweden, when they go drinking a lot, then they have this one as late night snack. I'm completely sober and I am eating this. You have the mashed potatoes, uh, which are very creamy, and uh, together with the shrimp salad, obviously also creamy. Then you have the hot, the hot hot dog. 
it goes very well all together. I've never thought that I will eat something like that, but it works well. And it's very heavy. Sweden, you've done a good job. Next time I'm going to Sweden, I will definitely try this one and I will recommend it for my friends. Good job, Sweden. This one is called Ban Mi Hot Dog and it's from Vietnam. Ban Mi Hot Dog is a Vietnamese hot dog with ingredients rooted in Vietnam and fresh colonial Vietnam. It is the ultimate fusion food. Ban Mi is the Vietnamese word for bread. It also refers to a type of short baguette with thin, crisp crust and soft, airy texture. A typical Vietnamese sandwich is often a fusion of meats and vegetables from native Vietnamese cuisine. Our banh mi hot dog is made of sausage, pickled carrots, spicy jalapenos, earthy cilantro and mayonnaise. Perfection! I did it again! Look at the beautiful colors of the carrots, the jalapenos, hops and the cilantro. It looks beautiful. Did you hear that crunch? Isn't it amazing that those tiny little tweaks makes the hot dog so special? Mm. At the first bite, I can feel the kick of the jalapenos. Amazing. It tastes so fresh. This is the closest to a healthy hot dog. It has carrots, it has cilantro, it has jalapenos. The only thing that is unhealthy is the, the sausage and the bread. Well, and the mayonnaise. But still, this is the closest you can get to a healthy hot dog. Yes, I've said it again. So this Vietnamese hot dog, it has a combination of everything. It has a combination of the creamy mayonnaise, the, the spicy jalapenos, the sweetness of the carrot, and the sourness also of the carrots because I put vinegar in the, uh, uh, on them. You actually have everything in this hot dog. The reason why I picked this hot dog is because of the beautiful colors that it has the, of the carrots and the jalapenos and also it, it just sounded like a typical for a Vietnamese hot dog. When I think Vietnamese food I think about noodles and I think about noodles not, not a hot dog. Jalapenos are very spicy. I just feel the kick and the spiciness in my mouth. I really like the fusion of the Asian kitchen and the American European kitchen. It works very well. I've been thinking about it. I'm not gonna say which hot dog was the best, but I'm gonna choose those hot dogs that made most impression on me because they were like thinking out of the box hot dogs or out of the norm so if i should point some of them it will be the greek hot dog it was so amazing the taste of it it was special it was like a minced beef stew in a hot dog and it tasted so good and then we had the Korean hot dog. I mean, this was absolutely gorgeous. It was, it tasted wonderful. It didn't look like a hot dog, first of all. It was just like a huge uh, chunk of cheese with a hot dog, but it tasted very, very good. It was sweet. It was, the, 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 the cheese was delicious. Um, it was amazing. It had all the flavors. It was just amazing. Second thing I would like to say is I've had a lot of hot dogs this week. And to be honest, I enjoyed this week because I've tried something different. And when you try something different, something that you never tried before, it must be tough and challenging doing it. But once you're done and uh, the result is great, then guess what? then you're happy. And right now, I am actually happy because I've learned new things, I tasted new dishes and I've learned new recipes. But you've just seen that you can make a lot of experimentation with hot dogs. And it's funny to try new things. 
and I'm actually happy because I've tried new things. So just go for it, just try it. It's special. And with that said, thank you very much for watching my series and this series. I hope that you enjoyed it because guess what? You are supporting me in this and I'm really glad that you are doing that. So with that said guys, see you in my next videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Yeah, I guess that was it.